So you've probably heard about something called Windows Recall, which is soon going to be coming into the latest version of Windows 11, which is 24H2, which is soon to be released later on this year. Now, as you've probably seen online, there's a lot of privacy concerns. There's a lot of speculation online, uh, again, and I personally feel like you shouldn't really have this enabled on your machine if you really want to value your privacy. Now, Windows Recall is essentially an AI-powered driven software. Um, it basically uh, takes snapshots of your device as you're using it throughout the day, weeks or months. And um, obviously it will actually store those snapshots on your local machine. But um, but anyway, just a quick introduction guys. My name is Matthew from Matthew's Tech Hub, welcome back. So again, in today's video guys, I'm gonna be showing you how you can actually check to see if Windows Recall is enabled on your device. And I'm also then gonna show you how to disable it and then if, if you want to re-enable it if you really want to. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So as you can see, we're now back onto the desktop of Windows 11. Now the first thing you need to do guys is to see if you are actually running Windows 11 24H2. So right at the bottom in the search box down here, it's gonna search for something called run, and or you can even hold down the Windows key and press R, and then that will bring up the, um, the run box in the bottom left-hand corner. And then what you're going to do in the run box is you're going to type in winver, like this, W-I-N-V-E-R, everything will be on screen as well, and just click OK. And then as you can see right now, um, straight away here, it says our Windows version. So at the moment, again, it says right here, version 24H2. So I am running the 24H2 build, which in, which also comes with Windows Recall. Now, um, what we need to do now, guys, is um, so there's a couple of commands which you're going to copy and paste into a command prompt window. So again, these commands will be in the description box down below, so you can easily just copy and paste them across. So what we're going to do now is go down to our search box type in CMD, and he's going to run this as an administrator. And if it asks for make change to your device, just select yes, like we normally do. And then what you're going to do in the uh, command prompt window is, so we're going to run the first command here, which um, is actually to check to see if Windows Recall is enabled or running on your system. So let me just copy this command here. And then we'll just paste this into our terminal, uh, sorry, command prompt window, press enter. And as you can see right here, it now says the state is enabled. So that means recall is actually enabled on this machine and it is taking snapshots. Now, obviously, I don't want this. So I want to disable this. So again, all these commands are down in the description box down below. And what you're going to do is just copy the one that is to disable recall. So if I just copy this, and then paste it into our command window here. That will then say disabling features, take a couple of moments, and then it will, you'll then get this message saying the operation completed successfully. That is exactly what you want to see. Now, what you can do is you can actually run the first command again to check to see the status of it. So if we now just go to check that, you can, or you can just use the up arrow on your key just to see any previous commands you've entered. And as you can see now, it's now saying disabled. That now means that the Windows recall is not running on this machine. Now, there is, other, there is other ways you can also do this. You can also do it through a local group policy editor, and you can also make changes to a registry, but I'm not going to cover those in today's video. But hopefully that helps you guys out there. Hopefully also you can get your Windows recall disabled on your system. But if it has helped, please smash that like button as it um, helps to get this video into the YouTube algorithm. Please also hit that subscribe button as well as we're on the way to 2,000 subscribers, which is just brilliant. And um, as always, leave your comments down in the section box down below. And until next time, see you then.